when I had volume, it was just my pride and joy. He was mischief, a good heart, heart of gold. And when he was grown up, he went to Boglestone Primary. And then he went to the high school, Port Glasgow High School. He loved driving. And uh, he passed his test when he was 17. He only had one driving lesson, because I used to take him out all the time. All the kids in the avenue used to come to the door for volume, even though he was a big boy. And he used to have this money jarring. Get your like that, go and get yourself something like that. But he was really a good boy. I'm not saying he was perfect, but he was a good boy. Mummy's boy. Definitely mummy's boy. I mean, he used to phone me up, could be 10, 11 times a day, just to see if I was all right. And um, he met Sharon. And they were in a relationship for about six years, and they had Nicole. And that was his pride and joy, was Nicole. A couple of months later, he met somebody else, and they had a daughter together. Abby and then it fell out her brother gets came into the scene and that's when all the trouble started they said they were going to leave the town because of her brother that was the night that he got murdered he was sitting in his car and she went in to see his brother he stayed around the corner and William was sitting in the car she said I want to get and talk to my brother see if I can get this resolved between him and her and I and William said, right, I'll sit here and wait on you. And William was sitting there and he just came out and stabbed him twice. And she ran in the car and when William was going, right, he was driving the car and then he started to go blind and that was it. That was it. I'll never go over that. I mean, I took an overdose in heaven, so I did and ended up in the hospital because I couldn't live without him. William was my life. William was my life. Need to be different came anybody. Nobody would have came in front of my William. Nobody. He was my life. He was my pride and joy. Well, I drive down Clumbray and I'm crying when I'm driving down Clumbray because to think my son drove down there, going blind, couldn't see. It, it, it kills me, totally kills me. I'm standing in there peeling potatoes, my tears are tripping me. Uh, it, it's terrible, terrible. What did I see over the future? I just go for day for day, so I do. Hoping when I add a diet, William's there just waiting on me, and I, I'll be here, I'll be over the moon. I'll be over the moon. I don't care about dying now. I died at one time and I don't. Nothing, nothing can hurt me anymore. Nothing can hurt me anymore than losing my William. Nothing. Me losing my boy, that, that was it. That was it. It's just, ripped my heart out. It's like ripped my heart out, so it is. The night he was murdered, we were in my nana's house, just for my tea and stuff, and I was staying over, and he was going to work the next day. And he came in to say, look, I'll see you in a week's time when I come back or whatever. And that was the last time I seen him. They said that he was stable and it was critical. So when we were in the like, family waiting room, they kept coming in and notifying us, and I walked past to go to the toilet. I didn't know where the toilet was, but I seen it, I looked in a room, and and my dad was just lying on a bed and he had like a big white bag as if it was coming out of him. But I didn't think that was my dad at the time because he was like really, he had a good colour, but he was just like white, like white as a sheet of paper. And um, I come back in and we were at a master room for about five minutes and the nurse came in and said my dad had died. And we weren't allowed to touch him because it was a murder investigation. And he was just lying there, he just looked as if he was sleeping. Sorry. It was just dead happy all the time and we used to go around in the car. Like, I did all Boston and just like, me and my dad, the dog was in the car and 
you should just drive anywhere. Sometimes you just walk it. Look. I don't know. Just every night, I think, like when you go to your bed, I think of them in, in the morning. But you need to get on because it's not, I don't know.